Yo, what's good guys? This is your boy Chosen Fair and I'm back with another reaction video. Um, this video is from a um YouTuber I don't I'm not familiar with named Nax. Hopefully I pronounce not Na Nax, right? Most likely I pronounced that right, right? Um we will call it it's time for twenty V ones to end. I low key I I seen this and I kind of, I, I high key kinda agree. Cause I thought about like reacting to him, but I'm like, I don't know. Cause like I'm really particular about like what types of stuff I want to react to on my channel now. But yeah, let's let's just let's get into it. Is that a monkey ball monkey in the back? Personally, consider as one of God's biggest no, mistakes. Just, what type just, of bag would you buy? Hold on, let me. 20v1s, one of YouTube's most sinister dark arts. An unpatched money glitch <laughs> dark defines arts. each and every new lit YouTuber's SRT yeah. upon each upload. And a video format that I personally consider as one of God's biggest mistakes. What type of bag would you buy me? I already told you what is. Oh, nah, would you give me? No, I don't want no ass. I want a gill. Who have I been itching and fiending to drag Sad, my nuts all over this topic? Because it boy, just, oh boy, do I have some words it's for you. Just, he's going to, he, you, you can tell by this dude's face, he's about to go off. But like, videos like that, like, bro, they just, they, they disappoint me, bro. They disappoint, like, X. Now, black YouTube, or what I refer to it as hood booger YouTube, is something that I've been really wanting to pick apart and dissect since I started doing commentary. Because there's just so much to be said here that I can go on for literal days about how the obnoxiously loud minority of black content creators are just setting black folk back literal decades. Hell, I'm even struggling trying to anchor down on a start point while scripting this vid out. Hence why I'm <laughs> off schedule. Like, I just, I just don't know where to start. There's just so much going on here but before i get too too deep into this when i say black youtube and hood booger content i'm not talking about amp ksi speed or, rdc anyone that you would see they, walking around they, in rdc world i'm not talking about them yeah, those guys are doing phenomenal and are truly reshaping the content landscape as we know it however who i am talking about are those freaked out lead paint chip munching money hungry youtubers who go around doing public interviews smasher passes and are now spamming the out of 20 v ones I mean, niggas are cheesing that method more than a dreadhead with two strand twists. Like for the past six months at this point, every single week without fail, <laughs> there is some new rapper, crazy. comedian, influencer, or another 20 v one YouTuber when someone else is 20 v one. Do you niggas not have any shame? Do y'all have no creativity besides copy paste, milk the cow until the udders are shriveled up like nuts? Like you know the well is dried up when you have Boosie of all people as a guest for one of these 20 v ones. Can you make a clap for me? Yeah. Here right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, let me. I, 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 you want to hold this for me? Yeah, because I didn't hear it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Come on now, man. Hey, yo, Are what we not about embarrassed to do? for making them pancakes clap for Boosie's uncle? It's like, Boosie, Boosie fade Boosie. Please tell me what in the hell that nigga's gonna do for you besides start barking whenever you see your butt. Like, what, what, what? Boosie's not paying your bills. Anyways, if you guys are unfamiliar with the term 20v1, it's pretty much just speed dating, but with a content twist to it. Essentially, I don't know. Of 20 you know what I do want to low-key react to? That's sort of like, like a... I don't even know if I can say a healthier version, bro. Like that balloon pop shit, bro. That should be too funny. And just hearing what they got to say and just like, I don't know. I don't know. I even like, aside from that, but let me know, y'all. 20 women, throw them in one of those warehouses with a white backdrop, and then have them compete in a riz off against each Zoe? other for one person of the opposite sex. This format was spearheaded by Jubilee and Cut like half a decade ago, then the sideman came through and popularized it yet again just yeah. last year, and now the niggas that were doing Smash or Pass videos have this gripped by the balls. And a trend that you're gonna start to see here with these channels is that since their inception, none of these channels have ever had a smidge of originality. If one of them starts doing Smash or Pass videos, here come 20 other channels doing Smash or Pass as well. Sorry. Someone start to put some balloon popping action in to the mix, well, niggas will simply reshoot the whole video and pop some balloons as well. Someone finds their match in New York, sure. oh, well, would you look at that? Niggas also found their match down in Houston. Sexy. And even looking Houston. at the thumbnails alone for these videos, each and every one of them on the screen is yeah, from oh. a different channel. Oh. And if I didn't say anything, yeah. I can guarantee you that That's you would not have been able to tell either. And I was even yeah, having trouble trying to tell. keep track of whose thumbnail was whose when I was gathering screenshots for this video. Like, it's just no originality. It's just copy, 
Hey, that's all you know. But if copying each other's videos run enough, they are still just making the same video over and over each week, week after week, without changing shit. Like, if we take a look at No Love Mars' channel, one of the top dogs when it comes to these 20v1s, right. do you see how much he spammed this same video type in the span of six months? Nigga, the only thing you changed was the guest and rarely bumping it from 20 to 50v1. And you only did the 50 so you can make a longer video and to fit more ads into it. Yeah, nigga, I get paid off the too. I'm on your ass, bucko. But it actually Word. seems as though copying each other isn't always sunshine and rainbows. In fact, sometimes the real demon and you pop out and you just, you gotta go all out. You really gotta crash out for the content. So a couple months ago, while Krishan Rock was trending for the 50th time this year doing God knows what, everyone who had the slightest amount of pull wanted Krishan on for a 20v1 in order to capitalize off her relevancy. And the way mm. these niggas acted just to attempt to be the first one to drop a bit with her is just flat out ridiculous. Apparently, No Love Mars team had booked her for a shoot first. But Another channel by the name of LaMike had also booked her just with overnight shipping. So, to collect both bags, she went to LaMike's shoot first and then planned to go to No Love's after. The No Love crew caught one of this, and instead of, you know, talking it out or potentially even collabing and calling it a day, the No Love crew pulled up to the other set mid-shoot, pistol whipped everybody, stole that's, the footage, and then ran off like it was a GTA heist. These niggas That's what that like was about? That's what that... Because I remember... I remember... Seeing that video... I have like, crimes over some footage of a creature that looks like she's from Whoville. Like, is that is that not crazy to be doing? Like, money aside, right? You're 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 stealing footage of a. <laughs> oh my goodness, you just so stupid. But stepping away from how grimy these niggas can be to each other and pivoting back to the content itself here. One That's very sad, big bro. factor of these channels and why they do so well, I guess, is how unfiltered they. Bro, can be where's that writer. monkey from? That's kind of. I don't know. It looks familiar, but I don't know where that's from. And it reminds me of Monkey Ball, but their eyes don't look like that. Y'all, let me know. Current 20v1 channels are the same ones that used to be doing those hypersexualized Smasher Pass videos. And if you've ever seen one of them, you know how raunchy it can get. Real shit, I feel like you can see the fuck out. So, I'm definitely smashing it. I want to spit on it. I want to lick on it. I want to swallow it. Um, would you say that you are pinky bro you horn dogs need to be neutered simply off the fact that you're comfortable being this sexual in front of two plus million people and seeing as though 20 v ones are essentially speed dating a celebrity most no. if not all the time the people competing are just trying to finagle their way into the up niggas pants for some money okay i like to have fun most of the time um, adventures like, yeah flags. yeah definitely adventures i like you ride all the rides not that but i'm seeing like traveling and but so let me get this straight you know with no walks in the park no kayaking no arcade hell you don't even <laughs> the rider craving the latest tech cameras appliances, and that, you, bro? you don't even want to go to dinner you just you, you, you just trying to just frame one trying to play hide the eggplant and first ticket to suckle my knuckle town even quavo sitting over there confused like what the hell is he supposed to do when she goes to meet his mom in his head all this woman knows is d balls and manipulation that is it freaky frog you freaky fr you're a freaky frog but it gets worse so 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 much worse that it is sickening so remember that little mike dude i was talking about earlier yeah, yeah, yeah he happened to get that new milwaukee rapper jp on you know the ever make a bitty hit or knee bro i ain't even gonna lie bro it's a catchy ass song but i hate that shit bro like i'm like Oh, that guy. Now, this 20v1 video okay, might just be the most egregious display of clout chasing and humiliation out of all of the videos I have seen. And I'm not even going to give any context. Just roll the clip. And I have a question for you. What's up? So you ever had a with no gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you better. I can tell you. You want to find out real quick? Did... Did, did Shorty just offer to suck up the Milwaukee Demon live on camera? Like, am, am I hearing that correctly? Is my headphones working? That nigga JP's aura just might be off the charts, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> that is crazy. I think historians need to study that nigga in particular. Because not only did she offer, but they actually went to gag town in the video. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We're a bathroom out of here. <laughs> you don't fuck us. That nigga keep. really did make the bitty hitter. <laughs> oh, no, he definitely did. 
<laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I want better for my people, but I know that it is simply not in God's plan. I pray that you remove this debuff from all niggas. The overly horny debuff. I beg. I'll do anything. I'll give up my right testicle. What do you mean by that? Now, that's a lot to unpack here, but um, let's just start with the elephant in the room. Why the f are you niggas huddled around the door listening to another man get his dong inhaled like it's Cardi leaks? Right. That alone might be the most suspect out of all of this, like, oh, you niggas yeah. are, are freaked out. You so freaky ass nigga. And even though I'm like 90% sure that him getting the suck my nut is fake, the fact that they're even doing that is even more ridiculous. And to top it all off, who the f is paying to hear JP of all people get his meat stick play with on Patreon? Oh my God, these niggas are actually about to get me to raise my blood pressure. What, 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 what is going on with this generation? That and is I forgot crazy. about the other elephant in the room here. Um, both JP and the shardy are dirty as hell. Like these two didn't even speak to each other for no more than three minutes, and his d is supposedly in the back of her throat. But this wasn't the only time she got out of hand in just this video alone. Fast forward a couple rounds, and this nigga JP is picking up and dry humping women left and right, all while they're begging and asking, "Oh." Me, me next, me, 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 me one uppies, me one uppies. So you can pick women up, right? Duh. Pick me up right now. Come here. And show me how you. <laughs> you see, you see, you see. Show me how you do me. You see that? Ooh. You see that? Come here, hold on. Huh? Come here. You hungry little guy? Whoa, you are a hungry little guy. The girl. Come here, let me show you something. Come here, let me show you something. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see, you, you, you see this ease? Well, yeah, I should, I should have picked you up like that too and show you some of the joke. Come here, come here. The amount of raw aggression and just freaky aura that this nigga JP radiates, it, 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 I, I don't even think this man's human. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. And that dorky nigga in the back with the wig sitting up there talking about some. He like that. Yeah, that's JP on me, on my mom, that's JP. Hold it. Stop, hey, Stop playing crazy. Stop playing crazy. Stop playing crazy. What? What? He like that. What they come on? If I ain't know no better, I would have assumed he was sucking JP in that bathroom too. They probably would have had like hey, some double hand heavy. action. Oh, hey, yo. Pause. No. Diddy. But in all seriousness, I think oh, this is past Krispy do Kreme that, donuts level glaze. Like, this is undiscovered, forbidden, ritualistic glaze we're seeing here. I'm sorry, man, but flag on the plate. Ten counts of unnecessary meat writing to that nigga right there. Hurry up the Hurry up the Hey, Anyways, that yo. Was also just shaking it. And apparently, like, pants off, straight bunions, like, straight me, booty cheeks shaking it. In front of not just JP, the 20 other women, yo, cameramen, hey, and whoever else was in the warehouse recording. But also, at the time of this recording, 500. And 52,000 people. <laughs> oh, you are. Your digital footprint is gone, woman. Holy shit. Where are your morals? Where is your consciousness? And what the fuck happened to shame? You know, I see shit like no this shame, in my head. Bro. Only There's have no two shame. options. A, you're just missing the embarrassment chromosome, or B, you have an embarrassment kink. There is no other option for y'all. Especially seeing as though she did all of this, ended up getting rejected at the end of the video, and then proceeded wait, wait, to hop in that man's arms and literally beg for him to pick her. You gotta go. All right, you gotta go. You said what? You gotta go. Why? Cause oh. that's kind of the rules of the game. Cause you can't handle me. That's that's cool. Cause I'm sorry. I got a quiz. I got a quiz. Since you think he can't handle you, mm -hmm. do you want to prove him wrong? Yes. All right, go ahead. You wanna prove me wrong? <laughs> I can't handle this, boy. I don't even have to say no more, man. At what point do we just call this sexual harassment after rejection and get her put on a fucking list? And how is this video even monetized? Like, that nigga is literally dry humping shorties in the air. Like, bro, get this shit, get this shit off my screen, man. But one last tidbit I want to throw in here about these creatures is that when they're not damn near on camera spamming the same video 10 times in one month or flat out infighting for video views these niggas insist on running their fans' pockets via cash app scams all right click that link in my description the top link right there support or uh, whatever you use yeah so look all you got to do fam is complete all these steps so hit continue towards 750. damn uh, cash out that's the best way to get paid to me and then put in your email. All you gotta do is answer all these questions real quick. Dummy, this is this is just greedy. Like you are the walking embodiment of pot of greed. You, this is nasty. When I look up seven daily sins, white warehouse YouTubers pop up under the greed category. That's how greedy you niggas are. These Bro. channels are making tens of thousands of dollars upon each upload, but no, that's not enough. These niggas gotta spin back and scam niggas on top of that. And what's even crazier is they are real life trying to get you to scan that QR code. Like this is not just one ad, but two in one video. Because halfway through the video, Shorty just so happens to get $750 dropped into her cash app inbox. You so sexy. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, Key, what the fuck? What? I just got that $750. Oh, you got it? Yes, from that link in your bio. You 
just cash after 750. Who the fuck, who balls are you trying to pull here? It's not me. I'm, I'm, I'm a smart nigga. It's not me. I mean, I've seen videos on the hub with better acting than this. Like, come on. If, if you're going to be trying to scam niggas, can you at least try to make it convincing? For me, please. Like, like just for me, please. That can we, can we work on that, please? But uh, like to the that. niggas that are actually falling for this bullshit, not going to lie, gang, you, you fucking deserve it. I beg of you to <laughs> please raise them intelligence stats up because falling to Gooner video acting is, is just pitiful. Now, if my tone Bro. wasn't clear enough this video, I personally find this whole process of a 20v1 from start to finish just embarrassing as hell to be a part of. I mean, sure, you're getting a bag for doing this, but at the cost of public humiliation yes. for years to come. And I've said this in a handful of my videos at this point, but I seriously do think that people seem to forget about the concept of a digital footprint. Like, this video lives on forever. Yeah. You shaking ass on camera for a random schmuck who you will never see again is cataloged until the end of time. If you niggas have kids and these channels don't end up getting deleted, there is a non-zero chance that they will see their mom or dad grab some strangers for a YouTube 20v1 or smash or pass video. Do any of you niggas think past the views and think long term past just the moment? Or is it True. just like, right. I gotta chase these views right now? And we don't even gotta go that far for the embarrassment level here. The fact that y'all are in your club's best attire to stand up there and have someone tell you to go left or right is just mind boggling. Y'all can get your bag, whatever, cool. This is clearly phenomenal short term money games. But when your Word. whole channel is based upon one trend, like one specific video, and you as the channel's owner are barely in the vids your channel is just gonna die when this whole trend ends like this is just youtube career soup on the side sticking entirely to one type of video copy and pasting every day with no actual personality i want us to win i want black creatives to Facts. win but if you guys are constantly going back and forth doing freak offs being straight up degenerates and flat out repeating the same video over and over with no variation you aren't doing shit but Anything cash grab especially looking at those cash app scams like these niggas are only in it for the money for the sake of the black community as a whole, this either needs to be tamed or shut down completely. And that's not even me trying to come at your bag. It's me trying to stop another race war from hitting the TL. If one of us calls another race out of our name, all they have to do is just pull up a 20v1 video. And at that point, it's nothing that the black race can even do. Like, we, we just got to sit there and hold that L in silence. Like, we got to take that walk of shame. But, uh, yeah, man, this video's going on long enough. I'm annoyed as shit. This bit Word. Jeez, yo, broski is not even lying, bro. If you guys enjoyed that video, you know. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. It's your boy, Chosen Farrell. Make sure you follow me on your local social media sites. If you guys would like to request a similar video, maybe not a similar video this time, but any other videos, please comment down, down below. And I'm out here. It's your boy, Chosen Farrell. Peace.